Hello guys and welcome back to another how to build tutorial on this grand church and today we are inside so I can show you some of the work that I have done off camera that you can do very easily. Round these um, pillars I have added some torches with the wood as you can see and I've not forgotten the little feet as I call them um, which are basically stone stair blocks that I've placed around each pillar on both sides so I don't need to uh, certainly forget about doing that later on uh, so that's completed. What I've also done as you can see we have built the entrance um, we'll have a quick look up here so I placed um, some upside down stair blocks and positioned them differently just to give these shapes so you can see roughly which direction I have placed the blocks like so and this wall here was just basically built with stone bricks uh, with two stair blocks either side and placing a door uh, on the inside face with an upside down stair block above the door and then built out I think I placed underneath this block here I think there's a stone brick which yes there is so then in front of the stone brick there's another upside down stair block which comes out and then either side you have your stair blocks two upside down two more stair blocks facing the right way up either side and then two stone brick blocks either side to create the uh, the pillar and if i go up <clears throat> i've done something similar here as well i've connected the two towers together to create this arch above this window frame here which if you look back at it i think it looks rather grand and then up on the roof part just up here perhaps what i was actually thinking of doing was building up on both sides of the tower we could have something that goes up in the middle as well maybe some more uh, glass panes um to add as another feature um we will we'll, we'll see um but i think you know it'd be a great shame to let that uh, space up there go to waste when we can utilize it oh also i have placed um some cobblestone walls along the top here uh, of where the entrance is and place two torches either side now then this bit you'll probably need to pay attention to if you are still following this tutorial this face here and this one on this side while i was building the second tower in the prep uh, off camera this was what you probably would have seen at the end of uh, the last episode um, this type of style of brickwork for the faces um, and originally I said that would give us um, a bit of shape uh, around the towers which is true in hindsight but however upon building these towers and um, certainly once when we uh, we decided to create this sort of edging around this big glass pane window um, I felt it was more relevant if we let the design flow more so I placed two stair blocks on the top there and then just let the pillars run straight down uh, and then we placed some stair blocks on the corners either side and it hasn't really compromised the shape at all if anything I think it's made it a lot better um, as you can see from above it hasn't really made that much of a difference in comparison to this side over here if you look it kind of sticks out a little bit too much at the bottom so what we're going to do we're going to change that so I can I purposely left this side as it was so I could show you uh, what I did 
exactly so to start off with we're going to remove that block there um, and let's have a quick look to see what we did so we've got block there which looks like that yep I'm following that I think we place two stair blocks like that and I think we got rid of the upside down stair blocks underneath and replace them with the stone bricks and that will run all the way down to the floor like so so we can get rid of that block as well um, and that looks about right there so we can get rid of these blocks here because we don't need them and going up again can get rid of that block as well we'll go down with this pillar getting rid of this stair block as well so that your front face looks like that and to finish it off as well at the bottom of this corner here we're going to be placing a stair block <clears throat> so instead of it being one stair block across is going to be two. Uh, I think that's it. Oops, what's happened there? I seem to have fallen down a hole. <coughs> and my voice is going, aren't we doing well? <laughs> Never mind. Dust ourselves off and carry on. Uh, I think that looks... I think that looks uh, okay. That's pretty much where we left it off ah yes I knew there was something that we were missing I think we changed these uh, these stair blocks so that they face the other way which indeed we did yes so I, I knew there was something that we were missing so get rid of these two blocks here and here and then replace them with two more upside down stair blocks but facing the opposite way to where they were originally so again that block is facing that way so we're going to dig that up and replace it with another block so it's facing this way as opposed to that way so that it flows better with the other upside down stair bricks okay so i'm gonna show you that one again uh, with this last face but i'm going to go a little bit quicker this time so that we can proceed with the build uh, so that we're not wasting too much time. So on the corners here, upside down stair blocks. And then we're going to have one on the corners here. Oops, that's the wrong way around. And here. And don't forget to replace those two upside down stair blocks with stone brick blocks. So we go all the way down to the floor. <clears throat> and not forgetting also to remove this and this upside down stair block so we'll quickly go up so that it all connects nicely there we go lovely jubbly and we'll replace these stair blocks rotating them so that they face the opposite way and placing another stair block on the corner right there and same again for this side there we go so that finishes off the base of the towers and everything is matching and looking symmetrical there we have it wonderful great stuff right also what i've been doing off camera is i've been linking up the tower with this hollow part which is um yeah, we needed to do something with it so what i did i decided to connect this part of the uh, the church the build and link it up with the towers uh, so i've followed on with the uh, the quartz block stairs uh, using some four blocks and some stair blocks um, to sort of link the roofs up together as well as trying to link in this this part um, this first level with the uh, the glass panes and the uh, the stone brick framework 
So I've purposely left this side as it is so that I can show you exactly what I've done, or at least try to replicate what I have done. Okay, so we'll start from the top first. Uh, and you're going to need your block of quartz and that's going to run all the way across correct yes so that's the spine and then continuing along with the pattern with this stone brick stair we're going to be placing some stair blocks in quartz same for here and then going down one block with the quartz and then finishing this part off with the stair block like that and now we're going to move over to the other side I'm going to do the same again so we're going to replace in some stair blocks there and there do they run all the way across yes they do so we've got two more there and then we go down another row Placing some stone, uh, sorry, some quartz brick stairs. Does it finish like that? It does indeed. Now we're going to be taking our block of quartz, going all the way across. And again, or do we? That's a stone brick stair. Let me just have a quick look because I've noticed there is a upside down stair block there. Uh -huh. So I just want to make sure that I've got this right. So yeah, it looks like we use um, quartz blocks. There and there, then we use upside down. Okay, that's fair enough. Right, let's find where we are again, there we go, or well, failing that, if we are unsure what we've done, we can always remove a block underneath so that we can see what we're doing, but I don't think that's necessary. Um, so we'll grab our quartz stairs and we'll go along. Filling in the gap there. Wonderful. As you can see, as, you, as the build gets quite complex, it is very easy to get lost and confused with what you're meant to be doing. Um, as I've already found out with this build, I'll look at something and I'll think, I'm not sure if I place a certain type of block there. And then you look at it again and you sort of route through to see what you've unearthed and what you've done and you find out that you've done something completely different to what you originally first thought you did if that made any sense probably not but <laughs> yeah it always pays if you are unsure about something just remove a block have a look analyze check double check just to make sure what you're doing is correct and then you can always come back um, and then you can place down the correct block and then it saves you a lot of time um, having to go back on what you've done um, with all the mistakes that you have made. Okay, right. I think they are meant to be full blocks. It's like now it's you're trying to piece everything together. So they're full blocks. These must be, they have to be, yes, we get rid of them. Uh, do these go upside down? And then do we have a full block there? Yes, yes we do. So we'll get our block of quartz, we fill in that gap. And <clears throat> I presume what we're doing now 
is we're just going to follow the pattern along with the, uh, the stone brick stairs using our quartz blocks to give the roof a little bit of interesting shape. Uh, is that right? Did we do that? Oops. I think we did. Is this better? Yeah, that's better. So all I've done there, instead of the upside down stair bricks just running in a line there, when we get to the corner piece here, instead of facing this way, if you just rotate yourself so that you're facing this wall here, place a block, it creates this little backward L-shaped corner, uh, which finishes off uh, that part of the roof very nicely. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that we've missed? And I think that should have tidied everything up, which I think it has. So then we've got a brick there. Hmm. I don't think it really matters too much. Nah, it doesn't really matter. So when you look at the roof now, everything links in together, everything blends and, and sort of forms and mixes in with each other so you don't have one part of the building that just looks different from the other. It all flows very well and I was a little bit concerned and worried when I was building the, the towers that I wouldn't be able to get them to fit in with the main hall. Uh, but fortunately everything at the moment seems to be going really well and I'm very happy how that's turned out so now um we can admire the uh, <laughs> the structure ones when we've uh, actually finished building it so what we can turn our attentions to now is these um gaping holes here that we have um and i think i said in the last episode we'll try and build some sort of arch um so that again it just this section of the build here just flows with um the rest of the stonework in the building and, and then it gives you sort of like a grand entrance into whichever tower because it's they're both identical in any way so it doesn't really matter which one you go through or if you want to go through both it's entirely up to you but anyway the arch so i might have to play around a little bit with the uh the design until i find something that i feel that works well with what we're working with and what we've got uh, so you'll probably have to bear with me until I find something that I can just go yes that works that definitely works for me um, okay hmm you see it just stops there doesn't it I don't really want it to stop there Could we do something here, perhaps? Oops, no. Because the shape on this inside part of the wall is very different to what it is on the outside, the arch is going to be a little bit different. Um, will that work? I suppose. Let's try this. I suppose we could always add like another section to the pillar there. And then do the same on this side. And how does that look? I don't think that looks too bad. No, I don't think that looks too bad at all. Um, would it be too much if I... added another section on to this arch or would I be overdoing it I could be very well doing it but let's have a look if it doesn't look right we can always just remove the blocks and keep what we've got mm. yeah I'm not entirely sure about this there we go
And then I suppose what we could do makes two blocks there like that. How does that look? What do you think? Does it have your seal of approval or are you thinking mm, possibly might have overdone it? Yeah, I think I might have overdone this one. <clears throat> Although saying that, I don't know. Let's have a look on the other side. Hmm. You see, I'm not too sure if it actually needs that much detail um, with the double thickness of the arch. But then again, it is quite a chunky structure, isn't it? So I suppose it needs to look sturdy. So I yeah, I think we could go along with that, perhaps. Mm. Don't like them; they don't look right. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that for the moment and we'll try and replicate that on this side. Um, or at the very least, I, I could actually do that off camera. So we can have a look at something else um, as far as the build goes. Uh, we need to have actually, come to think of it, we need to actually have a think what we're going to do with this floor. Um, what design patterns we want to do because i think we'll probably want to have something different from the checkered floor that we have in the main hall um but we want to have something nice that flows into the towers um and then maybe we could i don't know have we got the space for a spiral staircase that leads up to this level it'd be quite a, a climb to get to this level and then you'll be able to walk across here from one side of the tower to the other side and then you have this big window here where you can look out <clears throat> watching the sunset as we speak as the last glimmer of rays of light disappear over the horizon light turns to darkness so on and so forth and then you look on the other side and you just see this moon rising from the shadows hmm. rather poetic i think no <laughs> i was never good at english so yes um now we need to probably actually have a think about adding on another level to the uh, the towers um, I'm not sure, should we actually go in a block or should we just carry on going up until we get to a height where we feel that, yeah, it's about time that we stop. So, um, I'm not sure. Because this part of the build here has to be incorporated with um, the two towers as well, so maybe the best thing for us to do is actually to go up um, using the normal stone bricks. Uh, so I suppose we could use them. Err, actually forgot about that side. So that's not going to look right then, is it? Mm. That's a fair point. Oh yes, I know what I did. I know what I did. So I can actually show you what I've done with the edge lip there. So we placed two upside down stair bricks there and there. Uh, I'll get rid of that one. Two there, and then all in between, we just fill it with the stone brick slabs like that. I think that's all we need to do. Is that right? No, it 
there isn't. Because that goes to there, doesn't it? Yes, yes. I think there's an extra row of br stone brick blocks. Let's have a look underneath. Always pays to double check. What have we used here? Ah, I see. No, we just use the upside down stair bricks, don't we? I see. And what have we used for the corner? Oops. I'm making a mess. Do they just go on the end? They must do. Like that. And then what did we use? Okay, we might have used some upside down stair bricks for this part. Alright. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's right. Hmm. Could be though. We'll roll with it. We'll see how it how it looks. And then off camera I can always have a look at the design and change it. If it doesn't look quite right. But I think I think that's how it's meant to look. Okay. Brilliant. So now we can get back to the build. So now that both sides look symmetrical. Um, so yeah, I suppose what we could do, we'll go up another 15 blocks. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Always sticking with the odd numbers. And again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And we'll just take a step back and we'll have a look at that. Hmm. Because bear in mind also, we've got the roof to fit on both towers as well and they have to form a very narrow peak so they're going to be quite tall um, as well the higher up we go um, so I think 15 blocks is about right looking at the scale of this building um, so what I'm going to do We'll call it here, I feel, because I don't want it, the video to run too long. Uh, and what we'll do in the next episode, we'll get the frame of the next level of these towers built up. And then we'll get uh, some sort of structure going in the centre as well. Um, so that we can have a look at perhaps building um, another glass pane window like that, but maybe slightly wider uh, so that it's this one of the main central features to the building with it being in the center it would make sense that we could uh, we could do something like that on the build so yeah i think we'll roll with that if you have enjoyed watching this video <clears throat> sorry as always please leave a like and subscribe to the channel um thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next part. Thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye.